Look at, look at me, guys. I am dressed like my Jewish mother-in-law going to a casino in order by president-elect. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, I'm in so much trouble now. I'm in so much trouble because I know in Donald Trump's world, I'm a minus 10. <laughs> but frankly, small hands never did it for me anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness, who's got the fun? Who's got the best escape plan in here? Did you guys watch anything on the coverage? Did you see me? I am all over the Twitter feed, all over national. I am one of the crying faces of Hillary. Like this. But the worst part is that they did this montage of everybody crying. And I got upset with someone. And on national television, ladies and gentlemen, you will see me saying, fuck you, and flipping somebody to bird. Okay. You saw it? Yeah, that was me. And it made it like it was, I was doing it to Donald Trump. So, it, you, know, you know, it was nice knowing, it was nice knowing everybody here. It really was. But you know what it is? I'm kind of bummed out. I'm kind of bummed out because I really wanted to see Bill Clinton as the first dude. Didn't you guys want to see him as the first dude? Yeah! I was thinking about like what kind of china plates he might pick out. Can't you see him with the little booklet looking at all the different ones? And he goes, Chelsea, can you help me pick out some plates? No, your mother's busy hacking Putin's emails. Um, let me see, you know what that guy, you know, you know they have some NFL plates? I can't decide between the NFL plates, the NASCAR plates, and I think these might be my favorite ones, Chelsea, the Hooter plates. But they really do have the best wings. That's what I was looking forward to. But I have to say, sound me God, if Donald Trump deports my lovely cleaning ladies, <laughs> Melania Trump better get her ass to my kitchen with a mop and a bucket of spick and span. I'm telling you, it's just gonna be interesting. Somebody sent me an e somebody sent me an email saying, "Oh, it's so it's so great for comedy," and I'm like, "But what? At what cost?" All right, give me a, maybe you need a hug. No, yeah, okay. After the show, after the show. All right, guys, what else is happening in my life? Um, oh, I went on Ancestry.com. I had actually sent my uh, DNA into Ancestry.com, and I'm Sicilian, but I found out that I'm 2% African. Nice. I am 2%. But now I realize when I tell that joke, I better say I'm 2% African-American. Otherwise, Donald Trump's going to kick my ass back to Kenya. <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. I, I really am. But I've been trying to get in shape like Bill. Bill's a vegan now, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that I'm a vegan now. You guys, you see all this? It is now pure vegetable fat. <laughs> it's the good fat, I tell my doctor, it's the good fat. I actually read at Weight Watchers that um, they said that um, if you try eating all your meals naked in front of a mirror. <laughs> so I tried that for about a week at the Olive Garden. <laughs> Yeah, now I get free breadsticks for life, guys. <laughs> I actually read in New York that the supermodel said she didn't need to eat because she liked the taste of air. What? And I said, evidently, she had never ridden the subway in New York City in July. <laughs> I said, I like the taste of air when Cinnabons come out of the oven. <laughs> so you mentioned I've been on Orange and I've been on Louis. I've been on Louis a couple of times. But the first time was the best, because I got to play a homeless woman that vomited on Louis' shoes on 6th Avenue, because I get the best roles. So I run into Louis at a comedy club like a couple of months later. So like, you know, an idiot, I go running up to him and I go, hey Louis, it's me, Pat, your homeless woman. And I go in for the big kiss. And he just gives me this look as if to say, oh my God, did I get drunk one night and bang some homeless woman on the way home? <laughs> It is, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> but thank God, guys, nothing else matters on this planet. You wanna know why? why? Because my husband still thinks I'm sexy. <laughs> of course I drug him. <laughs> and you know how I know love is blind? Every year on our anniversary, he goes out and he gets me the same exact sexy black lace negligee like I wore on our honeymoon, but he gets it for me in the exact same size three. <laughs> And then he says to me, but oh, baby, it looks so good on you. You still look so sexy in it. It still fits you just like a glove. And I said, you're right, honey, it does. Because it only fits on my goddamn hand. 
We nicknamed it my OJ negligee. <laughs> Poor OJ. I can say that because OJ and I have the same birthday. I, we really do. We, we really do. Um, now, ladies, but there's also something else about my husband. My husband is also seven years younger than me. I want some moves, ladies. So I did not want to go to his high school reunion and be the oldest woman there. But after he gave me a bottle of tequila and slipped me a roofie, I agreed to go. So we got there, and everybody kind of acted like they knew me, and they kept telling me how young I looked and how pretty I looked. So like, in the end, I have a wonderful time. So the next day, they sent a group photo with everyone's names on it. So I'm like, well, who do they think I was? Like, I don't know, the prom queen? Class president? They thought I was the high school gym teacher. <laughs> Wait, it's worse. Not just any gym teacher, the girls softball coach. <laughs> yeah, I slipped myself a roofie after that. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So we got the red states, we got the blue states. This summer my husband and I went hiking in a red state. We went to Utah, the state of Utah. Yeah. 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 And I don't know if anybody's been to Utah, but I noticed that the, um, oh, we were in this little barbecue place, and I noticed that the white people in Utah are not your regular white people. They're like a pasty white. I don't know if it's a Mormon thing. I don't know if it's inbreeding. I don't know. I don't know. All I know... Is she says it's true. She's from Utah. Right here, she, and she, and I noticed that she doesn't, she's the opposite though. Usually they have a lot of, a lot of wives. Look at this, she's got like four husbands right over here. <laughs> and that's the way it would have been if Hillary got elected, God damn it. <laughs> so anyway, so we're in the barbecue place. I'm going to finish this joke before I get off the stage. So we're in the barbecue place, and I this is a true story, and I noticed it. They were looking at us, and we were looking at them, and they were looking at us, and finally I said to my husband, Honey, I think we're the only black people in here. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed a little taste of season. My name is Pat Season.